Well, hello there again, my bow fishing brother, and this is Tim Daniels from THS Sporting Center Bow Fishing on August the 23rd, 2021, on Lake Huron, Michigan. Uh, this evening, uh, the action ended up being uh, quite slow. Uh, a lot of the fish uh, moved out of the, the spots that I was they were just in about five days ago. Uh, with no real major weather change. Uh, on this particular evening, uh, an employee uh, of the stores here and his son uh, came out bow fishing. Uh, Brian himself has been out uh, a few times bow fishing with me over the last uh, 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 couple of years, but this is the first time his son has ever been out bow fishing and uh, hasn't shot a bow much. So uh, nonetheless, we're in for an evening of uh, adventure. You know, Brian and Mason both were uh, kind enough to give the fish plenty of warning shots. And uh, that's what you're seeing here is a couple of uh, warning shots on the fish. You know, shooting them right out of the gate sometime is unsportsmanlike in some eyes. So fair enough, we give them warnings by shooting at them and not hitting them. You know, using a uh, line puller isn't as easy as it might seem. Uh, you know, wrapping your line around a minimum of five times, uh, depending on the line puller and how bad it's stuck. Uh, you have to get fast at it. You have to get uh, uh, used to doing it without looking. Uh, it's something that takes a little bit of practice. Mason was having a little bit of a difficult time figuring out uh, how to use Kentucky windage when uh, aiming at these fish because uh, we were shooting in uh, different depths of water as well. It wasn't making any things any easier. Uh, we were shooting in, in waters that were up to six feet deep, which is damn near impossible as a, as a new person uh, shooting into, and then waters in three to four foot, which is still uh, no cakewalk. Well, I have to admit, uh, I am impressed by harsh lock arrows. Um, this is my third trip with them now, and I'm starting to get the swing of it. Uh, I think with a few more trips, I will. Uh, I, I think it's going to even improve more. Um, it is held up extremely well. Seems to hold fish well, and I have nothing but you know praises for that arrow. You know, a good investment that's not terribly expensive at all is a uh, gaff. Uh, getting one that is at least four feet long uh, allows you to clear weeds off a troller if you have one, use it to help grab dock posts, pull up fish. Uh, it, it is a, a must-have tool when bow fishing. So the lights you see right now are actually a total of nine 50 watt Volgram lights and uh, since the water was getting a little murky I decided to throw on the other two circuit or the other two switches which run a total of four 100 watt aero halo colored LEDs. You know, not that I want to go uh, jinxing myself or anything, but uh, I make it a point to clean the seaweed off my trolling motor as it starts building up. And uh, I hear people burning up their motors, uh, and I've uh, I've had fairly good luck. You know, I uh, I buy a little bit larger trolling motor, and I rarely use it on settings above uh, say three or four. Um, and uh, I've had good luck so far. Uh, no burnt motors, no need to replace brushes or anything yet. You know, some people when they go out, you know, and for evenings festivities are labeled the designated driver. Well, Brian here is demonstrating that he was the designated warning shot uh, shooter uh, on the boat this evening. Uh, he's been out before and has had a little bit better luck than this. It, uh, but uh, Lady Luck was uh, not smiling uh, uh, gracefully upon him this evening. Uh, he, he, he was having a rough time. Now. 
you know, this is one of the fish that, you know, again, you think it's a classic shot, and you think you got them, and as soon as your fingers let go, that fish takes a right angle, and I, I, I usually call those uh, Barry Sanders fish. They sort of fake you out at the last second. You know, I've heard some people say that they like a uh, tiller-style uh, trolling motor, and uh, maybe, again, that's a good thing for them. And then there's people with, like, the sexy stick-style stuff. Uh, quite honestly, the key fob-style uh, or handheld remotes are just absolutely fantastic. They're probably the most expensive choice. Um, those things aren't cheap, about $150 each, and even more than that in some cases. But, man, are they handy. You can be standing anywhere on the boat and be able to control the front of the boat. Um... I have an extra one on board just for backup, and again, uh, for, as far as I'm concerned, it is a worthwhile investment. You know, so this is one of those countdown shots, you know, you know, one, two, three, shoot, bang. And uh, uh, I happen to, uh, Mason and I happen to connect on the uh, same dogfish here. And uh, usually dogfish fight quite a bit, but with uh, two arrows uh, shish kebabbing this little dude here, he was not going anywhere. Mason thought it was neat, but, you know, he wasn't quite as excited because he wasn't, like, the only one that shot this fish. And, uh, which was, I told him, was sometimes even more difficult to do when you have two people shoot the exact same fish. You know, I've seen these fish off and on over the years and seen more of them uh, this year than ever. And these are the, the Crucian carp. I don't know if I'm enunciating that correctly. Basically, you know, we, we call them brownies, but I'm seeing some uh, this year that are just huge ones. And it's uh, the proper definition of it is that uh, Crucian. Uh, I played a, 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 a sped up clip of uh, Mason sort of bobbing back and forth. I was sort of like bow fishing slow dancing for him. Well, this ended up being the uh, biggest fish of the night that we ended up seeing, and uh, I lucky I, uh, I popped an arrow in him, and uh, it was off to the races with this one. Uh, it's a nice fish, probably just around 18 pounds or so, but uh, for this time of year, it's you know uh, quite honestly remarkable that I see any of that are this size in this body of water here. As I was mentioning, the uh, Harshlock arrow is impressive, and uh, one of the things I noticed, the holding power uh, seems to be along the same lines as the AMS Anchor uh, line of arrows, or AMS Anchor QT, and I think it might end up ultimately holding better than the QT, because when the fish spins, if it spins in the wrong direction, or in other words, loosening the tip, I've had lost fish that way with the anchor quick turn model with the uh harsh lock there is no chance of that whatsoever um the fish can dance in any direction it wants to that tip is not going to come loose until you basically push in the back of that arrow what we're going to do is take this i'm trying to explain it for the camera too and i'm going to push this loop or pull it back through the arrow so this back piece of the figure eight slides out now the arrow's off mm -hmm. pull the line through yep so not to be terribly deterred, Mason finally scores a fish all by himself here. Uh, he uh, aims right, gets it there, aims a little low, boom, right in center mass of the fish, and this is Mason's first fish solo. Right 
So I tried some uh, straight white reverse light pod lights, and those didn't really last long. So I bought a uh, new LED tail light that had all three functions, basically turn signal, stop, and reverse light, and your running lights. And I like it. It's worked out pretty well. I'd just like to take a moment to say, we the people, being the working class of this nation, make it great. If you have a chance, look up the word menticide. It is what is happening to many of us, and we need to stand up against it.